could be woman or man or no gender, but if we're God's image in us then, there's equality as opposed to this other interpretation. And then, the how many Marys are there in Jesus' life? When Jesus made his first miracle, which was what? Of the wine. Who prodded him said, Mary said, come on son, do it now. And he made his first miracle. And then when he died, how many people were there? The Marys were there. And then who cleaned Jesus' feet? It was Mary. And then when he rose from the dead, the Marys were the first to see him. But we forget this conveniently. Marys have an important life in the role of Jesus. Like, why did we not see that? Why not? We just see, say, women should do this and women should do that. But why didn't we see? Maybe Marys are more important to Jesus than these things that Jesus didn't say, assuming that you believe that he's God. I'm not preaching, no, I'm just telling you the medieval period and theology. Okay, I'm not a preacher, anyway. And, okay. And then, you have the other interpretations, like in, in the Romans, there are deaconesses. So that's why women are still fighting now, the Catholic Church at least. Well, in other churches you have female, ministers. Why can we have female priestesses? When in the times of Je time of Jesus, the apostolic church, there were female deaconesses, like Priscilla and Aquila. So why can't we? So they see it's biblically sourced, it's scriptural. So they're still fighting for to, uh, having the female priest. It's the same in Buddhism too, anyway. Uh, so now we go to the modern times. The first way would be the people were fighting for the right to vote. Can you imagine in many Western capitalist countries, women were not equal? Women had to fight for the right to vote. Now you take it for granted and you don't even go out and vote, right? If you only knew how hard women fought to have the right to vote. Now you know, you better go out and vote. Vote your conscience, whatever, wherever you want to vote, okay? But update, vote is not enough. This is a critique. These are illusions, you know. It's just a shock your senses to wake you up. It's not her. <laughs> this, okay. Uh, women want to run in public office. Voting is one thing. But the suffragettes did not talk about running in public office. Now we have all of these women in the halls of Congress, right? They took a group photo. They don't have enough restrooms for women. They're not ready, okay? And anyway, oh, why, why is it that most restrooms have men not waiting in line women? They have to, dude, it's been going on forever. Why don't you change the way you set up your back? It can be same size and same size. Women do different things, men do different things. Haven't we learned up to now that bathroom sizes have to be different? but we haven't learned, apparently. Okay, even in the halls of Congress, it's the same thing. See, so many group pictures. And Wendy Davis, who is she? Nobody's reading current events. No? Yeah. <laughs> She was wearing her tennis shoes. She knew I can't come in high heels for 10 hours. Okay, I better have comfortable shoes. So when you are doing some form of protest, wear your most comfortable shoes. Okay, and you cannot lean or sit, right? That's what she did. Okay, so she was fighting for the reproductive right of women. 10 hours. She was an unknown now. She is world renowned. Want to be famous? Fight for your rights. No, you don't care. Fight for your rights. Okay, breaking news. Hillary will not run. I don't care. I'm just saying because they said she has some brain tumor. So they have to look for maybe Condoleezza Rice for the Republican. And uh, I don't know. You know, it's the time of women now. Come to think of it, right? And you're still saying, I don't want to do my role. Go out and run for public office. Second wave, who is she? It's a giveaway. It's the stereotype of our country. Yeah, 
Merkel, she's the head of the German government. So the second wave is to fight for social, cultural, political, and economic rights. What made this possible? In the 1960s, in the West at least, you have the washing machine. Before that, you know, you see old movies, scrubbing and hitting, and you have the wood thing. I enjoy watching old movies like it was hard work. It was women mostly doing it, right, in the West. The washing machine, again, now we just assume it's been there forever, not your grandma. They had to go through the difficult ways of doing things. And child care, now you can just drop your kid here and there for child care. In the past, now the woman was tied at home because she had to yeah, take care of the laundry, and it had to be her. I don't know why, but that was the thinking in those days. Child care, the same. It's an illusion again, okay? Don't worry. And uh, the single mom raised two kids. You might have seen this. This, is, this went viral. Let's look at the video. It's two, most of the clips I'll show you are about two minute clips. Yeah, this is two minutes and 33 seconds. My brother Bailey, you know, he's been a big You're raised by their mom. Oh, yeah. We have, it's very strong. Our father passed away when Myers was six years old. Despite me only being 22 months older than Myers, I like to think of myself as somewhat of a fatherly figure to him. After our father passed away, me, Myers, and my mom, the three of us slept on the living room floor with uh, blankets and candles. No electricity, no water, no furniture. With hardship and getting through hardship, that only helps bring people closer together. August of 2008, that was the day I left for boot camp. It was just a shock to me, I went in my room and cried. I had never not had my brother. Now that he's in Afghanistan fighting for our country, it kind of scares me every day. You know, he's, he's in the line of duty, but you know he's always been there for me. The last time I saw Myers play was in January 2010. I'm guessing he has absolutely no idea how you can pass out this state right now. I drove into Champaign on March 1st to come and see Myers play against the mission. The reason I wanted to come see him play so bad is the fact that he didn't know I was going to be here. I just read about her. 
So she wrote three important books, uh, The Church and The Second Sex. Second Sex is really from the existentialist writer, Simone de Beauvoir, so it's furthering. And she's highly influenced by Tillich and Buber. They were also the same author that uh, Freire. Have you read Freire in this class? Not yet, Paulo Freire. Dr. Jorge knows Freire. Okay. Oh, yeah, he does. You're lucky you, you were taking class with it. Okay, and Beyond God the Father, it gives you a glimpse of her focus on huh? Beyond God the Father. So instead of emphasizing that God is a male, okay, there are questions. Why can't God be something else? Okay, and she's not, this is from the source I looked at, not equality but women governing men. So this is a different version of feminism. And Joan will continue if you want more. She knows she's an expert on Mary Daly. I'm not at all. And, and Mary Daly wants to look for the change in the power relations. Remember, all throughout, it's power. We're looking at power. The dominant class, the dominant sex, the dominant color. Huh? And you know this song, don't you? Oh, you're not young, are you? Yeah. Yeah, this is top 20 hit today. Okay, this is on TV. And Ellen DeGeneres invited them. Uh, Macklemore, I from Brian Lewis. This is the, okay, there's a lesbian couple proposing to one another while they were in a concert playing this song. This is a short clip too. It's two minutes to